y'all early today because I need to clean up I'm gonna go downstairs and clean up I'm gonna start off in this room first of all because oh my gosh I have so many clothes to put away we did laundry on yesterday well actually we've been doing laundry since Friday so I have like so much stuff over there to put away so I'm going to do that in a minute I washed um, my comforter and my throw on yesterday which I'm so glad I did that and it smells so good y'all so just kind of getting ready for the week making my bed so so y'all i text my sister this morning to see if she wanted to go to um tj maxx and i'm sorry i have my back turned i'm trying to get this bed together but um i text my sister early this morning to see if she wanted to go to tj maxx just to see what they have because it's been like forever in a day since I've been in TJ Maxx and she actually said yes so we're gonna go to TJ Maxx see what they have going on and see, yeah after that I'll probably just come back to the house and chill out y'all and get ready for work next week because uh next week is going to be like a really really short week due to Christmas and I know it's going to be super busy at work so really, I don't want to do too much today. And I need to um, do my nails, so I'll be working on that. And then I'm thinking about doing some lashes, y'all. I used to do lashes like a long time ago, strip and individual lashes, when I was running into like doing makeup and prom makeup. Um, I used to do individual lashes. And so I think I want to do some on myself. I'm debating. Only because y'all, I'll um, put them on and then like the next day I want them off <laughs> and that's just too much work to have to just like put them on and then take them off so y'all I was reading my comments yesterday and someone asked me if I was on a keto diet why do I want to lose weight why do I consume like a bunch of sugar-free stuff versus regular stuff and she was pretty much saying that I didn't need to lose any weight and I beg to differ <laughs> I definitely beg to differ y'all I can afford to lose like weight and I know that depending on what I have on it probably don't seem like I need to lose like weight and I know I don't need to lose a lot of weight but I do need to lose weight you guys and I pretty much uh, put myself on a low carb diet because diabetes running my family like heavily on my father's side and that's the reason why y'all I um, consume a lot of low carb foods you know just just being mindful and responsible and just knowing you know the knowledge just knowing that diabetes runs in my family and I have to you know be self-aware and do better if I can especially as it relates to food like I know how to control myself when it comes down to food I know how to adjust so that's why I can adapt to a whole lot of sugar-free items I'm getting older y'all I'm 43 and I have to keep my health in mind you know I want to be able to take care of myself forever you know I'm in the healthcare field so I see I see a lot of things so that's why I consume a lot of sugar-free and low-carb items it's just because I'm trying to do better and of course y'all know we all want to look good like I won't deny that I'm a woman so I want to look good so that plays a huge role but definitely my health okay my health is number one again diabetes run in my family and I'm just being self-aware <laughs> you know I know these things so you know better you do better right like who don't want to look fabulous like in their clothes it's just you know you look good you feel good right and so I want to look good so I'm not going to even deny that part of it but the main reason is because diabetes do run in my family if low carb and sugar-free items isn't your cup of tea then you don't have to do it because everything that I make that I show you guys or everything that I buy you can always buy it in the regular form okay usually with low carb and sugar-free items 
that's secondary so any item that i show you that's low carb or sugar free you can find it in the regular form trust me you can find you probably find that first versus finding like low carb and sugar free items so yeah y'all that is that so y'all my sister is on her way we're going to be going to tj maxx and it's been forever since i've been in tj maxx like seriously i can't even remember the last time like oh my gosh almost a year I know it's been a year. Wow. I'm back. So if y'all watched yesterday's vlog, y'all know that I picked up this um spray. And it is pretty good, y'all. I like it. Y'all, so it's actually the citrus scent, and this smells really, really good. So I'm just cleaning my bathroom, my sink. So y'all, after I brush my teeth, I have to clean the entire sink. <laughs> and it's bad habit. I do it every single morning, every single night after I brush my teeth. So yeah. So y'all, this spray was only, um. so y'all, this spray was only five bucks. So that's not bad at all. And they also have um, a lavender scent and it was lavender and it was something else was it apple and i should have gotten the apple scent but i wanted to try the citrus at first because i thought i was just going to use this in the kitchen so that's why i wanted to get the citrus first but i think i'm going to go back and get the lavender for my bathroom because lavender is so relaxing and i think that'll be a great scent for the bathroom so i want to go back and get that for the bathroom and so yeah so y'all, like I was saying earlier, I can't wait to go to TJ Maxx. I'm not sure if I'm going to find anything, but again, it's been so long since I've been in TJ Maxx. Um, I really want to go in there and see what they have to offer. All right, y'all, so that's my sink. So the sink is nice and clean, and now I need to wash my face. So let me just wipe this thing down. Y'all, sometimes I do the absolute most. And like right now, I might be doing the most. But I can't help it. It's my habit. So I'm just wiping the mirror down as well. And then I'm going to wash my face. So y'all, I'm all out of my Dr. Bronner's. And that's one of the reasons why I did want to go to Target yesterday. But I didn't feel really like it. So I might go to Target today. Or I might be able to find my Dr. Bronner's in TJ Maxx. Because I watch um, Unique Terche here on YouTube. And I think Unique went to TJ Maxx one time before and she was able to find the um, Dr. Bronner's or was it Marshall's? It was one of the stores. So I should be able to find it in there. So we shall see. All right, so that is that. Now my sink is nice and clean and now I can move forward. <laughs> Y'all, so since I'm out of my Dr. Bronner's, I'm gonna use this CeraVe Hydrate Facial Cleanser. It's for normal to dry skin. So yeah, I'll use this um, today. And I used to love survey products, y'all. And I still do in a sense. So y'all know, I used to have survey everything. The facial wash, the moisturizing lotion, just like all of it. But then I had to change up my regimen because I think my skin was kind of getting used to the survey. So I had to um, switch up. So I have my paper towel here, y'all, because I do block my face um, with paper towel once I finish washing. So let's see, let me just wet my face. Now, I will tell y'all, the only thing that I don't like about the survey is the fact that it does not lather. Because I'm so used to a lather. Um, but I mean, but I mean, it's okay. It gets the job done. I just wish it had a little lather to it. And it does not. But it feels really nice and smooth on my skin, y'all. So, so, as you can see, it is like a cream base. Oh yeah. Oh y'all, it is moisturizing. So for real, for real, I need to start using this more like in the morning and then using my Dr. Bronner's at night because usually in the morning, I really don't have to do too much as it relates to skincare because I do it all at night. So this is really, really good for the daytime. So I'm gonna have to start using it again for in the morning. 
I don't, that should be good enough, y'all. So let me rinse this off. Mm. Y'all, right now I'm using my um phone to vlog because my battery is dead. Um, because my camera battery is dead. And I need to invest in another battery, y'all, because my battery seems to drain like so quickly. And so it's charging up now. And it usually takes about two hours to get a full charge. So I need to invest in another, um, oh, what am I saying? <laughs> battery, y'all. So I need to invest in another battery, y'all, for sure. Oh, my face is so nice and soft. Mm, it feels so good, y'all. Mm, that's good. And I still have eyeliner on from last night. Let's see. Oh, so let's try one of these wipes, y'all, because I still do have eyeliner on. So the wipes I brought yesterday at Dollar General, y'all, and they are by Believe Beauty. They are the charcoal-infused makeup removing cleansing wipes. And it's green tea scented. Let's see. All right, so you just pull the tab up like so. And they are black. They are charcoal, charcoal infused, so they say. So it's pretty wet, and this is the full size of the white, so that's not too bad. Oh my God, it smells just like green tea. It smells exactly like green tea, y'all. I mean, just like it. I drink a lot of green tea, so I know exactly what green tea smells like, and it smells just like a green tea bag. Wow. So it's really, really wet. It's not overly wet, but it's definitely saturated. And I might be just wasting a wipe, y'all, but I got to get this mascara off. And this eyeliner off. They didn't come off yesterday when I removed my makeup. Okay, y'all. So as you can clearly see, I'm wiping my eyes with this wipe. I'm getting all up in there. And it's not burning. That's the main thing. Like as long as I can, um, that's the main thing, y'all. As long as the wipe does not burn my eyes. And it's not burning at all. It's not burning at all. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells so good, y'all. Okay. That did the trick. So I know a lot of people really don't like to use makeup wipes, but y'all, I have to. Like, I'll go in and just kind of remove my makeup with a wipe first, and then I'll go in with like um a cleansing oil, or sometimes I use grapeseed oil, and then I'll go in and wash. So I have to um, remove my makeup with a wipe first. That's the very first step. And I wouldn't recommend you just using this and, not, and doing nothing else. Like you have to remove your makeup and then do everything else like your skincare regimen, um, wash your face, all that good stuff, moisturize. So yeah, you should never just go in with a wipe and then that's it. But I have to have wipes to um, initially remove everything from my skin. So yeah, pretty good. Oh y'all, what is this? Is this a partial um, skincare regimen? Like what is this? <laughs> what are we doing? Um, but that's kind of what it is. That is kind of what it is, y'all. So next, I'm going to go in with my um, my rose water that I showed you guys the other day. I absolutely love this stuff. Sometimes I mix it because obviously, as you can see, I've been using like this one a lot, but I really haven't been touching this one. So let me just really show y'all real quick. And I have to hurry up before my sister gets here. But I kind of want to show y'all because my skincare regimen is really, really simple. But I do like um, toners. I like essence. I think they just do my skin really, really well. So I have more of those items than anything else. Like my cleanser is really, really simple. My moisturizer is really, really simple. But like toners and essence, y'all, I'm here for it. So... Here lately, again, I've been using these two products right here, but today I'm going to use this one, and this one is formulated with rose water and charcoal, and it also helps to balance your pH after you wash your face, so we'll just use this today, since I don't hardly give this one any love. And I know I'm extra, can't help it. 
So that's that, y'all. And I just let it dry on my face. I don't do anything. Just let it dry down. Um, the other toners and essence that I use is by Bosha. And here's what they look like. And these also came from Ross. Y'all can find some excellent items in Ross. So this one right here is the Balancing Facial Tonic. And this one is the Clear Complexion Tonic. And sometimes I'll use these ones. I haven't been using these ones lately, though, because I've been into the other ones. So, again, these came from Ross as well, and I love them. I'm almost done with this one. So, I really need to finish this one up. And then, of course, like, everyone should have, like, some regular T and Dickerson witch hazel in their collection. Why? Because it's very necessary. So, yeah, I'll go in with my witch hazel sometimes. So, y'all know all about witch hazel. That astringent is really, really good. And then I have this Olay Essence. This one is the Ultra Hydration. And this one is the Ultimate Hydration. One is for calming, and then the other is for energizing. So that's what they look like. And I haven't used these in a while. Probably because I've been favoring the other ones. So, yeah, I haven't. I need to let the air out of this. So, yeah, I haven't used these ones in a while, but they are really, really good. I do highly suggest. These were on sale one day at Walgreens, and I decided to cop them. So, yeah, y'all, that's all of the um, toners and essence that I use and tonics and all that good stuff because I feel like it does my skin really, really well. So, that's that, y'all. And then I'm going to just go in like it's raining today. Oh, it's really rainy. So, I'm going to I skip my SPF. Y'all tell me. I don't, mm, I don't wear the SPF when it's raining. Is that bad? I don't, I'm not wearing it today, y'all, because it's raining. But I usually use this Walgreens. Um, this is the Advanced 50 Clear Complexion Broad Spectrum SPF. And it has antioxidants. Hyaluronic, hyaluronic, it, let's start over. <laughs> it has antioxidants, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides. Okay? And that looks like this. I got this from Walgreens, obviously. That's really, really good. But now I'm going to go in with my pawns. I'm not going to use that SPF because I try not to put um, a lot of products on my skin. I don't have to. And it's raining, so I don't feel like I have to, y'all. Yeah. I don't see any sun in sight, so I'm not going to. So I'm going to put the pawns on. My grandmother used to use pawns, y'all. And when I tell y'all that she had some really beautiful skin, she used to use pawns and Vaseline. She used to mix the two. And when I tell you, that lady had beautiful, beautiful skin. Oh, her skin was so good. I miss my grandmother so much, y'all. She would be 101 if she was living today. She died when she was 95, almost 96. No. 95 she died when she was 95 years old and if she was still living she would be 101 today not today y'all in september but y'all know what i mean this year well she had some really really lovely skin she will always get complimented on her skin so that's it y'all that's it for the skincare usually like i will wear this one this pause this one is um mattifying but I'm not putting on any makeup or I'm not going to work or anything like that. So I just opt for this one. Usually I use this one in the morning and then this one at night. Love these products, y'all. They're so good. And that's it. That's pretty much the skincare routine right here in a nutshell. I forgot I had this dress on. And flesh is not meant for water. Uh, well, how do you know when it's 150 in the car? Oh, my man. <gasps> Oh, we forgot the mask. <laughs> Let's go. I'll be back.